more than a thousand Palestinians took to the streets of Hebron officially to celebrate the anniversary of Fatah, Yasser Arafat's faction of the PLO. But it turned into a blatant show of contempt and anger at the continuing Israeli presence on the West Bank. Trampling the Israeli flag underfoot, the militants chanted slogans including no peace with settlers and soldiers of Fatah break the head of settlers. At the same time, the faithful were observing Ramadan at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque. They were joined by a European VIP, Norway's foreign minister, who is touring the West Bank territories. <coughs> Yasser Arafat didn't have the time to take part in the prayers or celebrations. He was meeting in Ramallah with U.S. Peace Envoy Dennis Ross ahead of a summit meeting with U.S. President Bill Clinton. Ross had earlier failed in his efforts to persuade Israelis to increase the number of troops they will pull out of the West Bank. He urged them to honor a deal brokered by the U.S. It's the third time this week that Ross and Arafat have met. Neither side has yet reported significant progress as the deadlock over the peace process continues. Arafat is set to meet Clinton later in January, as is Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. The meetings will not be held on the same day. Neither the Palestinians nor the Israelis have shown a desire to back down on their demands. Israel says it wants the Palestinian Authority to work harder to fight terrorism. The Palestinians say they want their land back and the Israelis out. So despite Ross's best efforts, it seems the peace process will continue to be a drawn-out battle of wills.